In the card game combo, basically you're looking at combinations of numbers and combining those numbers with various operations like addition or subtraction, multiplication or division to form uh, various other numbers. So the way play starts is that uh, you deal five cards to each player and you turn one card up and that becomes the focus card for this uh, first part of the game. So if I look at these combinations of numbers here, 8 and 2, I could say that 8 and, eight and 2 are 10, 8 take 2 is 6, 8 divided by 2 is 4, or 2 eighths are 16. So there are four possible numbers that that could represent. If you can't do a nice division, then you don't. So in this case, there are four possible matches. Then I look at my own set of cards, and I'm playing cards up. Often I play with children with the cards up because it adds a strategy to the game. And I look at my cards and I say, well, uh, what can I do with 6 and 4? Well, 6 take 4 is 2. That's not going to match. 6 and 4 is 10. Well, 8 and 2 is 10. So that's a, that's a potential match. Um, I don't have to use the same operation, though. So if I look at some of my other cards here. So, for example, I've got 8 and 8 here. So I could say uh, 2 eights or 8 twos are 16. 8 and 8 is 16, and that's the card that I'm going to match. It's very important that you verbalise that, so I'll say 2 8 is 16, 8 and 8 is 16. Now let's have a look at what the other player has here, and whether that player can match in some way. Now, I can see a match, for example I could say here that 8 divided by 8 is 1, 6 take 5 is 1, and so I'll put that card on there. Now, I have to try and find a match from my cards that are sitting here. The obvious one here is, is virtually the same move. So, 6 take 5 is 1, 6 divided by 6 is 1, and there's a match. If I can't match, I can't find a match to go there, then I have to pick a card up off the deck. But if I pick up off the deck, then that's my move finished. The winner of the game is the person that gets rid of their cards. And as you can see, um, in this case here, we're actually practicing the four different operations and so this would be a great game for upper primary where they've already got things like their tables, division facts and addition and subtraction facts and it keeps them reminding them and practicing it.